Alright guys, so to get started with this caddis fly, you're going to first put the hook in the vise like so. Um, I like to put it upside down, it just kind of helps get the bead on there. I take the slotted hook, or sorry, the slotted bead, and then, you know, kind of situate it so I can put it on the hook. Camera angle's kind of funny here, so it's hard to see, but um, yeah, I get it on there, grab the hook, and then kind of flip it over and put it in the vise the right way, making sure that the slot is on top so that it seats down on that bead properly. Or, on, sorry, so that the bead seat sits properly on the hook. I'm going to take some 210 black thread. This is some pretty thick thread. Um, you can use the thinner thread. I like the thicker stuff because it allows you to unspin the thread and get kind of like a flat lay to it. It's really easy to build up a tapered body that way. And you'll see me spin the the bobbin um, backwards as I'm, you know, occasionally as I'm wrapping. So right here, I'm just building up a thread dam behind the bead and then kind of working the thread back just a little bit to trap that. Trim off the excess. And then we're going to, right here, I grab my dubbing preemptively and it's not, it's not time for that, but um, so we're going to, um, it's, this is an olive, like a, um, a hairline olive green dubbing, but before we put that on, we got to build up our, our body and kind of a thread taper here. So what I'm doing is I worked it towards the back, just a little bit past the bend of the hook and then back forward. And here's the thing where I'm spinning it or un, unwinding the thread to make it a little bit flatter. Basically, it spreads those thread fibers out. All right, so we've got the thread lined out. We're going to take some thread wax and or some dubbing wax, put it on our thread just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Maybe a little bit too much there, but once it's on, it's kind of hard to hard to get it off. All right, so this you'll need more dubbing than you think. It's I mean, mostly dubbing in this body. So um, you'll see here, I actually have too little dubbing right here. But I like to spread it out on the thread first, and then you can give it like a nice tight dubbing noodle where you just pinch and spin to give it mostly even. And then from here, we're going to wrap around to try and build up an even tapered body. You don't want it to be bulky in too many spots. So right there it started kind of bulking up, so I backed it up. And right there I realized, crap, I don't have quite enough dubbing on there, so we got to grab a little bit more. Once you get really good at this fly, it's, I mean, it's it doesn't take long to get good at it. It's really simple. It's basically just dubbing and thread. So, so we finish off the dubbing up towards the top and it allows it's okay to have it a little bit thicker at the top because that kind of gives that tapered look to the body next we're going to take some some black um eye stub uv eye stub this stuff's really cool in the in the black light but um i like to use this for a collar but also kind of adds a little bit of bugginess to it Again, this one, um, you really don't need much. Um, I was playing around with a technique here that ended up, I didn't like it, or was not quite where I wanted it, but I thought, hey, if I throw it on top, maybe it'll give it some bugginess, but nope, I quickly, <laughs> quickly backed out of that. All right, so similar to how we did the dubbing noodle with the green dubbing, we're going to throw some wax on the thread, just a tiny bit, because this is just a small bit of wax. I will say this ice dubbing is a little bit more challenging to get working with a dubbing noodle. So the moment it starts to noodle up, just kind of leave it put. Otherwise, if you try to do it too much, it'll actually work itself off the thread. And of course, here we're going to do whip finish. My vise wasn't quite tight enough there, so reset the hook and then give it another 
split finish, I like to do, you know, three or four wraps a couple times, trim off the thread, and then just to kind of help lock those threads in place. You can use like super glue or like an actual um, an actual thread glue, but I find that this UV resin works just as good. So we'll put a thin layer of that around and then zap it with the black light. There you have it. So this fly has been one of my most productive flies. Um, it's basically just a larva of a caddis. Um, you can make it as buggy as you want, but super simple and easy to tie up. I can tie up one of these and that was a little bit rougher of a tie, but I can tie these up in, you know, five minutes and you're good to go. So hopefully you guys like it and have some success on the water. Peace.